I got a little tablecloth cover because I sometimes pick up new hobbies and I was like, I'm gonna be a DIY girl and we'll see if that sticks. <laughs> So yeah, I have this now, so whenever I do DIY projects or paint or whatever happens, I have this now. Feel free to lay something down. If you are scared of getting your furniture dirty, put your hair up, put your overalls on. Now I'm gonna go get all the things I need. Essentials. Okay, so this is what I'm using. I have the resin and resin hardener, gloves little mixing things i don't know what these are popsicle sticks i think that's to put the resin into the molds so that is what came with the resin kit off of amazon then i got custom molds made in my ring size you can get pre-made ones michael's actually had them today that are just round normal ones but i wanted more dome style rings so i got them made on etsy it took a really long time to get here so i have my resin molds a set of neon pigment for my rings and i bought this on amazon so it's just a bunch of different pigment that i can make my rings colorful with you can do powder i've seen glitter all of that just search it online but i wanted to go with a neon vibe so that's what i'm doing today so that was essentially what i bought along with my table cover for five or six rings i'm gonna have to wait a day I'll, i'd probably wait two days and i am not patient so this morning i realized i was doing research and you can get uv lights to harden them within five minutes so i just ran to my goals it was like five minutes on the road and i got my uv light kit which we'll see if it works if not i'm gonna have you patient and wait two days i got another little plastic thing to mix the color with the resin and then i am using some cups I'm going to get set up and I will see you when we're ready to go, but that's kind of the things you need. It's not a lot. You just really need resin, resin hardener, the tools, gloves, and any sort of pigment that you want along with the molds. And if you have patience, you can use your patience. And if not, you can get a UV light. So that's what I have. I'm super excited to get our DIY day going and I will see you in just a second. Okay, so here's everything all laid out, my colors, my resin my molds all my gadgets and my light so i'm gonna unwrap the gloves and we will resin it up also here's the instructions that i'm following from the kit i got i will kind of talk through them i don't know what i'm doing you don't know what you're doing so we're in it together and it's gonna be great this is not even steaming there's the roaster crew crew kadooking <laughs> i guess i don't need gloves yeah i'm about to read instructions Okay, so first up, we're gonna mix equal parts A and B together in our little nostalgic medicine cups. Do we just wanna like free ball it? Okay, equal parts. So we did A and then let's do equal part B. Ooh, the hardener's big. <laughs> Looks about equal to me. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing because you're probably like, what are you doing right now? Okay, there we go. Equal parts of resin right here and then the hardener. So great, we did that. First step done. So we are going to mix now. Maybe I shouldn't have used this much because I think I would have liked to mix it in here, but it's fine. I'm gonna mix for two to three minutes. Make sure there's no bubbles, no nonsense going on. We're gonna mix now. You see like the dots and stuff? I'm gonna use this side. This is so fun. It's kind of therapeutic. I think I'm gonna do this one all green. What do we think? I still have some more left in here, so I'll do another color next. But I think this is gonna be my all green one, which I'm super excited about. Ooh. Okay, I have no idea how much to add, so. Whoa. Okay, it's a little bit see-through, and I want it to be more dense and not really see-through-y, so I think I'm gonna add some more. All right, so maybe white will help it. Ooh, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Are you kidding me right now? I'm so stoked. Okay, the white made it more like an actual color and not so see-through, so this is exactly what I'm wanting. It feels kind of thin, though. <laughs> I don't know if I'm what I'm doing. 
Okay, I think I overfilled this one, so now it's underfill. <laughs> All right, so here's my first one. This may be a little bit thin, I can't tell. In the videos I watched, I felt like the resin was thicker, but we're gonna just try one out and see. This is what it's looking like after I filled it, and I'm gonna take it over to my little light. I have no idea how much time it needs. So this little light runs for a minute. I'll check back in when it's done and we'll take it out and see. Waiting for my rings to harden. I need an almond. I'm worried that since this is liquid, it's throwing off this ratio and it's making this too liquidy. Also, I have been running this one through the thing for so long and it is a liquid. So I think because I added a color, it's just too liquidy. So we'll see. I'm still probably gonna let this one either sit or I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna try the new rings with a lot more hardener and see how it works. I was not having luck with the UV light. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to wait for 24 hours to even look at these bad boys. Um, unless I did the measurements wrong, but I don't think I did. So I think we're gonna have to wait. So I will show you what I did and then I will hop back on tomorrow and see how they ended up turning out. And then I will take them out of the molds and make six more. So I only can make six at a time, which is totally fine. So anyways, these are the dome rings. So I made a lime green one, kind of like an orangey see-through and then a black one. So those are gonna sit for 24 hours, but I made some lime green little tiny rings. So we will see how it dries and uh, we'll check these out tomorrow and see how they turn out. I'm excited. I'm gonna be super upset if they don't work out and I waited two days to touch them, but you know what? It's a process and we're learning and it's gonna be great. So I'll let these sit and then I'll jump on here tomorrow and hopefully take them out and see how they turned out and then make a few more. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. 24 hours later. Okay, I'm taking out the black one first. All right, whoa. That's how this one turned out, it's a little bit too big. I'm gonna have to file down the ends a little bit. Oh, it's not dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally bending as I'm touching it. Okay, well, that's that. Uh, maybe I should put it back in the mold. <laughs> It's Don't really be impatient. Good. I thought it was done. Do we kill it again? No, 48 hours. It hasn't even been 24 yet. I'm too Leave impatient. It. Okay, fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Whoa. Ugh, I'm so mad. 48 hours later. It's a ring update. It has been 48 hours. These little guys are still like squishy. So these are not it. This one's pretty hard. Of course, this is the one that like wouldn't even fit my big toe. It's so big. But these are so cute. So they're very squishy. Um, I don't know the fate of what's gonna happen to these. So they're very cute. Something is off. I don't know what. Later on today, I'm gonna try to make a second batch and then I'm gonna have to wait two more days for them to dry. But it's a good first start. This is what I want. Just, it's not it. So I will see you later for another round of DIY resin arts and crafts rings. Okay, bye. <laughs> round two, I will make sure I have exact measurements you're supposed to do like 50-50, and I might have maybe not did that. So I'll do exact measurements. I'll mix it for five minutes, or three to five minutes. I really don't want to, but I will let these guys sit for 72 hours this time and see if that is more helpful. I'm gonna let these boys sit for about three days. Not obsessed with this one. It was, there's very air bubbly, so I don't know what's going on there, but we'll see. I left a little drops at the top. Be back right. in three days. Be back in three days. Hello and welcome back to the Ring Saga. It has been quite a few days, as you can tell. Look what I'm wearing. I even made two new colors, except they have some air bubbles. But I finally perfected the formula. I figured out what I was doing wrong, and most of it was internal issues, like patience that I do not have. Let me show you all of the goodies I made. Ooh, they're so fun. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. It was stressful. Some pointers for you, what I did wrong is the measurement of the resin. If you're not using a pre-made resin, 
and you have to mix like part A and part B. It is very specific. So make sure you get it as accurate as possible. Uh, less is more. I, you know, in the first time I tried to make the rings, I <laughs> did a really big cup of each. Start small. Like the rings do not take a lot of resin at all. So unless you're making like a hundred at a time, you don't need a lot of resin. Just do a little tiny bit. It's easier to mix. It's easy to handle. Okay, so second thing is, is I use a color dye pigment and I've seen people that have used like a powder dust kind of pigment. If you are gonna use a liquid pigment for your rings, definitely know a little goes a long way. The more liquid you put into, you know, the mixture you're making, the more it can throw it off. And like you saw at the beginning, I was like chugging the green in there. I was like 50 drops. You need like three or four and just add a little bit. You do not need a lot. You do not need a lot. And that is something that's really important to know too. Other than that, I didn't figure out the light situation. On the package when I bought the UV light, it said it was supposed to be used with a th certain kind of resin and I didn't have that resin. So the UV light may work for people if you try it, but you might need a certain kind of resin. I didn't have it, so I had to wait and I suggest waiting as long as possible. All of my rings are really hard now, even like the softy ones, they're hard. Uh, and I ended up waiting like 72 hours. So you need patience for this. You need a lot of grace for this. It takes some playing around, you know, to get used to. And I never even showed you this either, but the first like one, I showed it the first time I did it. It has been almost a week since I started. It is still not dry. And I took my rings out of the molds after two days, even though they weren't done, and I let them sit like by themselves so I can make new rings. I didn't put them on or anything. So if you can, let them sit for three days as long as possible. They'll get really hard and be awesome. And if you don't do your mixture right, you're probably gonna know it'll be super thin. So anyways, that is my little fun ring DIY project. I hope if you love this video i'm still gonna work on making good rings that don't have air bubbles um but i'm gonna figure it out but i feel like those tips will definitely help you they will also help me when i decide to make another batch of rings and that's pretty much it so i hope you love this video i love you air hug go out and be cute and let's do do the thing i just came all the way across the united states don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>